Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at handicap. What is a handicap? How you use your handicap, how you score the handicap, and how you can play in a tournament with a handicap. Okay, we're going to play four holes. Uh, this hole is... <laughs> this hole is 376 meters, par four, and I get one shot on this. You'll see on the score, I'll explain. We're working from home and from here. Helicopter in the background. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's do another one. Target there. Oh, that was perfect. This is a par four, which is a long one, and it always, it's always a difficult one to make par on. So I'm normally 150 meters away from the green, and it's always tough. So let's see if I can at least make bogey and maintain those two points of Stapleford, right on 150 meters, just like I said, right there. <laughs> and my ball's just there. Okay, comment down below and say uh, whether you like handicaps. I know a lot of my friends who are low handicaps, they don't like it, they prefer medal play, uh, stroke play. Let's see if we can get on the green. 150 meters, five hybrid to the start of the green. Oh, that was nice. A bit to the left. Well, I hit that quite well. Put a comment down below. I didn't know I put it up there now. <laughs> I played a, what's a breakfast board, like where you play two balls. Because uh, the first one went out. Look at that. I almost hit the helicopter. You can see it there now. <laughs> Do you play two balls when you first start? No, that's the question with your friends, obviously, or by yourself. Okay, the ball's there. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to drop, I think, and be sensible. Okay, so it's actually embedded. Yeah, it's definitely embedded. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I can clean it. I'll have to check on that rule. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I think we're to count this as a, as in Spanish we call a raya, where basically you've gone zero points. So we'll just get it on the green and then continue. See if we can get it in. Go on, get in. So if we count the double bow, the double there, I've gone three, four, five. Six to there, one, two, three, four, five, six to here. So this, this will be my seventh shot. And really I, I get two, I've got to, well, I could actually get a zip, well, I can get zero on this, no? Because I think five, yeah, so that's it. So I don't really need to play it. I'm going to practice it. Because <laughs> I need a bit of practice with the putt. Yeah, there you are. Okay, so we'll look at the, the Spanish Federation, their app here. You can see it gives me my handicap. Um, and I can also look in the fit, uh, the actividad, all my results. So if let's go into there first. Let me know in the comments if you have a similar app in your country. Suppose I can look at my last result, which was the winter tournament in my club of the Glithian Federation. Okay, so you can see here, my handicap is nine. That's what I played with on the course. Uh, there's the holes, one to nine, and then 10 to 18. There are the holes, oil. My, the handicap of each hole, the par of each hole, the golpes are the shots I had in each hole. And then finally, we've got the Puntos, Puntos Stableford, which are the points of the Stableford. Okay, so for example, in the first hole, it's a handicap 14, so I don't get any extra shots. Par five, I did a par, good start, and I got two points uh, for the par. You get two points for a par, three points for a birdie, four points for an eagle, five points for an albatross, and six points for a condor. <laughs> Let me know if anyone did a condor. I don't think so, no. Okay, then the second hole uh, is the 12th 
hardest hole, so I don't get any points. I actually did a bogey, so you can see when you hit, get a bogey, you get one point. Uh, any more than a double bogey, you get zero points. In Spanish, you call it a raya. And the third hole uh, is the second hardest hole on the course, so I actually get that point there. You can see it's a dot that shows I get one extra shot. If I had two extra shots, it'd be two dots, or even three, it might be three dots there. Um, so that's how many extra shots you get according to your handicap. So here I got a par, so I got three points. It's like having a birdie for three points in the Stapleford. In the fourth hole, 16 again, uh, par, 16th hardest hole, sorry, uh, and I get two points. In the two par threes, I didn't do very well. In, in the, the fifth hole, I got zero points simply because <laughs> I did a great uh, tee shot. I was actually, what, 20 meters from the hole and then just didn't get on the green and then proceeded a three putt as well, so a disaster. And then here, well, not very good tee shot. So those, those, they let me down really. So I got zero and one point there because I don't get any extra shots. Then at the seventh hole, I did a par with a point. So it's like doing a birdie. So I got uh, three points. In the eighth, I did uh, a bogey, but I get an extra shot, so it's like two points. And in the ninth, I did a double bogey, so I get one point, because I get one shot, so it's like doing a bogey, really. In the tenth, I did quite well. I did more, more or less my par. Finished off badly, I was doing quite well, and then I just finished badly on the 17th, for example. I did a double bogey, zero points, and then a bogey. I get two points, so well, not bad really, I suppose. Not terrible, I should say. So you can see in, uh, in total, I did 82 gross. Bruto is gross. Uh, that, that gives me 82 shots. That's what I, how many shots I actually hit in reality. My net is 73, because it's a par 70. So I was like plus 12 over in the gross. And here in the net, I was 73 shots. So I was plus three over my handicap. Uh, so if I did my handicap of nine, so I did plus nine on the course, I would have got 70 shots there, okay, my par. And I got 33 Stapleford points, Stapleford points. Um, so uh, 36 would be the, the par for your handicap uh, of the course. And so I got plus three over. Now we're going to look at my last 20 results and um, my top eight competitions. Let's have a look. Okay, so I press here on my handicap and it opens up this document. There's lots of pages here. Lots of pages, lots of pages. So these are the top 20 r results, top 20. These are the last 20 results. From my best result there was plus five. That was my best one that dropped all the others down. Plus eight, plus nine, all past seventies. A few terrible results of ninety. <laughs> okay, so what they do is they automate. You don't do, need to do this, but they do it for you. You can see they mark the top eight results. This is the formula they use to work out your handicap, and they're, they're, they're the top eight. You can see the top eight there. So really, this year I've got eleven point nine, five point six, eight point five, ten, ten point nine, eight point two, nine, ten. And that gives me my handicap here of 9.2. So that's got to go down, hasn't it? <laughs> okay. And I think that's the last page. Oh, no. Here they give the formula of how they calculated it. A bit boring stuff. And then you can see my handicap there. Um, perfect. So that's how you get a handicap. So we've got a par 4, 280 metres. I don't get any points on this. Zero. So I've got to make par. <laughs> So I'm going to make par to get two points. Here we go. I'm on zero at the moment. Zero after one hole. Oh, I came into it. Into there. I'm in trouble again. Oh, I might have got a good bounce. I might be out of the way there. The hole was just played now was a good example because I'm never sure sometimes whether I should uh, lift the ball, basically, because sometimes I lift the ball and I could have actually made a bogey and get one point and it was zero, you know, if you put it in or something. So it's not always easy to know when you're going to actually lift the ball. You have to know what the handicap of the hole is. I'm lucky. I can I think I'm get over it. 90 metres.
<risos> que tal? Well, here's another golfing problem. It's actually on the track. I don't know if that counts as a place. I'm going to say no, <laughs> to be honest. I'm going to do a video about rules, because yeah? I need to learn a few more rules as well myself. So please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and, and you'll see the more, more videos about like the rules one that I'm going to do. And if you have done, if you have subscribed already, thank you so much. 52 degrees, 50 meters, <laughs> third shot. <laughs> okay, this is easier to know the score. <laughs> so just, just straight score, really. So this is my fourth shot. Nope. In theory, with Staplehood, you'd lift up the ball now because I can't do anything. I've got, you know, if I hit, even if I get this in, I've got six, so it's zero points. But I'm playing badly, so I'd really, I'd want to have a bit of a practice and calm down a bit. Let's see. As I said, in theory, I'd pick this, I'd pick this ball up, but well, I need to practice. I'm not playing very well. <laughs> Dwelly, that hurts seven. Oh, so we've got a par three, 180 meters, zero points. <laughs> oh. Let's see what we can do. Oh, left, very left. Well, left is, isn't so bad. I've been lucky, at least I've got a chance of making bogey. Maybe even a par if I'm lucky. Let's see, get on the green. Not bad. Stay just there. Let's make par. No, I didn't come in. Good job we didn't hit it harder. <laughs> bogey. Bogey seems good. <laughs> that hole's, that par three is really hard for me. It's hard to do a par in that one. Um, in fact, if I do bogey, I'm normally happy. But it's the handicap 10 hole, so it doesn't give me any, any extra shots. And maybe in your country, you don't actually do Stableford. Put down below if you uh, look at the holes when you're playing a Stableford competition to see whether you've got points or not. Okay, so to understand handicap, you have to understand golf <laughs> and holes. Let's look at the holes. In golf, there are 18 holes or nine holes. And each hole is either par three, par four, par five, normally. Sometimes they're par six and par seven. There's an example of a par seven up there. Uh, but normally they're par three, par four, par five, okay? So 18 holes, you add those up, and that, what that gives you is normally a par 72, so 72 shots on all 18 holes, four par fives, uh, which gives you a total of 20, four par threes, which gives you a total of 12, 32, and then 10 par fours, which gives you a total of 40. So 20 plus 12 plus 40, 72, if your maths is good. So that gives you the, the normal course. Mine's a par 70, so it only has uh, two par fives, then 12 par fours, okay, and four par threes. So it depends on your course, but normally par 72 is the norm, okay? So a scratch player is a, is a person who can do those 18 holes in 72 shots. So in each hole, he does the par, shall we say. Sometimes it might be a birdie, then a bogey, and, and, but in the end, he, that, he or she will have done 72 shots to make a par. Okay, so what happens then? In golf, we want to play at different levels. So basically, golf assigns you a handicap, and they base it on what would be your best results over eight rounds okay, against 20. So your best eight results are over 20 rounds that you played in a competition. So with those top eight rounds out of the 20 rounds that you've done, that gives you your golf handicap. The average of that is your golf handicap. Obviously, when you play different courses, some are harder and some are easier. I don't think there's an easy golf course in the world yet. I haven't seen one. <laughs> but some are definitely harder than others, okay? So they, they base that on two things. One is 
the slope rating and the other is the course rating. Okay, the course rating is what is worked out after they do a, a different studies. You can see in the picture what it looks like then. They're all studying all the different um, holes and shots and out of bounds and how narrow the fairways are, what kind of obstacles you've got. And that would be what a, a, a normal scratch handicap player would go around in, in the course. So if the par is 72, but a scratch player would do it in 70, right? then that number would be 70 for uh, the course rating. So for a scratch player, they're expected to get 70, not 72. Okay, and also the opposite. If it was a very difficult course, although the, the, the course might have a par 72, uh, the scratch rating might be 74. So the, um, the scratch player will be expected to get 74, not 72 on that course. The other side is the, the slope rating, which compares the bogey player to the scratch player and then gives that a number. It's not based on pars or anything like that. It's between 55 and 155. Um, and I think 113 is the average, but it's not really the average. And that gives the handicap rating that you can apply to your handicap, which they do automatically. I'm going to be a bit more aggressive in this hole because it really should be a hole that I should be trying to get birdie on, or at least par. Um, it's very well defended, so <laughs> you can get in trouble. You've got to get over the bunkers. So let's get over the bunkers. Hole in one would be fantastic, wouldn't it? If that goes in, that's perfect. Oh, that could be interesting, eh? It didn't enter. What a shame. It's if we make birdie, because normally here I'd be a little bit defensive and, you know, just try and make par. It goes, it enters to the left. Just looked at my hole there. Okay, so I'm a little bit right side of the hole. I'll just knock it in there. Let's go. Should be pretty fast. Hmm. Definitely. There was more slope than I thought. Yeah. So make par to finish. All right. Oof. <laughs> par! Everyone said you're par! Par! We made a par! What I like about handicap there is I started off badly, but I didn't get like a massive score. So that's a good thing. It's what I normally do is make like a disastrous two or three holes, <laughs> at least. <laughs> 